Who is it? So Margot was born uh, two months early, eight yeah. weeks early, um, uh, on the 12th of December. Um, and while she was in NICU at 19 days old, she was diagnosed with a really rare um, genetic condition called trisomy 9 mosaicism, which basically means she has a third copy of the ninth chromosome in some of her cells, but not all of them. We were told that there was maybe a hundred children in the in the world that, that had this condition and that's all we knew and so it was new for us new for the medical team nobody really understood the challenges that potentially was come so i've been at jesse may for seven months so i'm relatively new and i've met Margot and the family a handful of times now. So I've been working with Jessie Mae for around six years now and I am a children's nurse and a team leader. Margot was introduced to Jessie Mae at the beginning of 2022. The Jessie Mae nurses come and visit Margot uh, twice a month and during those visits we spend three hours with Margot while the parents go and do what they like in those three hours and that may be leaving the house, going to the shops, spending time with Margot's big sister. And what do you like to do, Mimi, when the Jessie Mae nurses are here with Margot? I like going to nurse the You to swim in? Yeah. And do you like going to the park with Mummy? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> But the first time we were in contact with Jessie May, I believe Bristol Children's Hospital referred us and we received a telephone call um, from just a really friendly lady who introduced Jessie May as a charity and kind of asked if she could come and meet us and, and come and meet Margot. I was a bit skeptical to be in with. And one <laughs> of the, yeah, no, I was because one of the reasons was because we talked about the time that we would be allocated. And you look back and you think somebody's going to be able to come in for three hours. You're like, what can we do in three hours, really? You know, and it's brilliant support. But oh my God, like how wrong we've yeah. been. Margot's face always lights up when she sees uh, our purple t-shirts and she knows that um, her Jessie Mae nurses are here. So during Margot's visits, we take over complete care of Margot's medical and nursing needs. So that could be suctioning, feeding, changing her tracky tapes, all of those types of things. And we also have lots of fun as well. So we do lots of playing, stories, listening to music, going out in the garden. So a bit of everything really. It can be very isolating having um, a child with disabilities. And... <laughs> <laughs> To have um, to have friendly faces that you're right. It, it, it's it's they're, they're not scared to pick Margot up. Or... No, very different friends and family are on the same journey that we're on, where everything's new and they're learning just as much as we are. You don't want to when you're wanting to sort of vent and, and talk about things. You don't want to scare friends and family, so no. you end up keeping a lot in, yeah. whereas with the Jesse May guys, you know, they're very much used to it, it's it's their worlds, so it's very, very easy to have a conversation and not, you know, have to explain yourself or, or worry that you're, you know, scaring them or that they may look at you or look at your child differently. Our visits to Margot being quite regular, like twice a month, means that they have learnt to trust us with her and they see us with Margot and understand that we do know her and she knows us and she feels safe with us. Yeah, look, we'd, we'd just like to thank everybody at Jessie Mae um, for all the support that we've received since we've been working together. As a family, we've benefited hugely and we love the interaction and engagement that you give us and the benefit that you um, that you give to Margot. So thank you from everybody in the Griffiths family. Keep up the great work. Just hope that uh, other families get to benefit and appreciate the support that you've uh, that you've given us.